Magister Merlin? Magister Merlin! Are you all right? Magister Merlin? You don't look well. Did you have a nightmare? Ah, your old problem has reared its head again. I'm Dolly. We've been living together in the mystical house for a while now. I hope you remember that you're the great mage who has inherited the title of Merlin. However, you lost most of your powers somehow. Your memories are fragmented, and you often forget things. I woke you up because there's a fire on the other side of the river. It's getting serious. All the villagers will be in danger if we don't put out that fire. Chippy was worried and ran over there already. As you're familiar, Chippy wanted to protect your beloved village, so he rushed out to put out the fire. But the fire is getting out of hand. Will Chippy be all right? Do you want to go and see for yourself, Magister Merlin? I understand. Just take care of yourself. You've been in seclusion all these years. No one knows you're here. If you just go out like this, it might stir up some trouble. You know, you're probably the most famous mage in Asperia. Before going out, why don't you use some magic and change your appearance? isn't working! You sand! Get these fires under control! Do not retreat! Forward! I wouldn't have recognized you if it weren't for Chippy tagging along. How about you dispel your disguise so I can see my old friend again? Ah, oh, General! The Magister's condition, you see? He's forgotten you again. It's okay, Chippy. No matter how many times he forgets, I'm happy to reintroduce myself to him. I am Hogan the former leader of the Heroic Order of the Lightbearer Empire, and the current Magistrate of Hollistone. 
We've been friends for decades, and our friendship will never fade, no matter how muddled your memory gets. But this is no time for small talk. Look at these fire elementals. They don't belong in Ryan. How could they just appear out of nowhere? Then our most pressing concern is to put out the fire. Please, give me a hand. Let's put these fires out together. Beauty sleep. This will cost you extra. Valen, you're just getting here now? Were you deep in your cups again? That's not fair. I ran into a bunch of fire elementals on the way here. Those guys were really annoying. Anyway, looks pretty grim here. I didn't expect the fire to be this big. This is not normal, General. That's right! We think it's arson. The culprit is likely a mage. Whoa, a talking hamster? You're a familiar, aren't you? In that case, this gentleman with the general must be a mage. I gotta say, picking a hamster as your familiar is rather 
unique. I'd normally overlook your band of Valen, but in front of this magister, you'd better watch your words. It's rare to command such respect from the general. Well, magister, I am Valen of the Heroic Order. How would you like me to address you? Hmm, an interesting name. I will remember it. Forgive my rudeness earlier. I'll be sure to make it up to you once this fire has been dealt with. more interested in who started the fire than in putting it out. I saw you casting a spell with my own eyes! It's not that easy to quench a greedy fire, my dear. I'm just trying to help. The Scarlet Sorceress is as beautiful as her fire is dangerous. That's what the rumors say. Dangerous? You're quite right. If this were my fire, you'd all be ashes by now. <laughs> So she's the Scarlet Sorceress. Chippy has heard of her. You're... Hmm? Magister, if Chippy is not mistaken, it seems like the Scarlet Sorceress is staring at you. What do we do, Magister? She's staring really hard. Never mind. You made me think of someone. The divination was right. This night was awful. I shouldn't have gone out. I'd appreciate not being disturbed any further. I'm leaving. You're not going anywhere, Scarlet Sorceress. All my wares are gone. I demand compensation! Don't push your luck, young man. I'm not known for my patience. Don't you dare try to get away with this! I'll make sure you're held responsible! Shh. Quiet. Something's not right. The wind. It's suddenly so loud.
You awake? How are you feeling? You defeated the huge wind elemental, but glazed over and fainted before I could applaud. Anyone with a heart would worry about you. You passed out for a while. General Hogan and his men put out the fire. Then he returned to Hollistone. He ordered me to stay here and look after you. Before he left, the General told me to make sure that when you woke up, your memory was all right. What a strange request. Do you often forget things? Also, how much do you remember of what just happened? The Scarlet Sorceress, Muriel. You're a Magister, so perhaps you've heard of her. She was identified as the culprit by young Master Rowan. That kid with the huge bag and the duck on his head? He's Rowan, the second son of the wealthiest man in the Empire, and head of the Mithril Consortium. General Hogan took the two of them back to Hollistone for questioning. Muriel's attitude towards you was unusual. When you passed out, she was the first to get to you. Did you know her from before? That's... rather odd. Magister? Yes! You're awake! Chippy checked all around and didn't see any elemental beings. The village is safe now! Mr. Valen told you that General Hogan already left for Hollistone, right? The General will wait for us in the village, so we should go meet him in Hollistone. He seemed to have something to say to you. There might be enemies on the road. I'll go with you. Although, you might not need my protection. Of course! The Magister is the mer... <coughs> the merriest mage that everyone loves. Anyway, since you're feeling better, Magister, should we set off? However, before leaving for Hollistone, we should probably return to the mystical house first. Dolly must be worried sick. Need a hand, friend? You're back. I was worried. that spell and the magister looked really strange as if possessed by some weird force nonsense even the goddess Dora can't control Merlin perhaps it's just the magister recovering Chippy what's with you why so pessimistic that's not like you oh you are right the magister is the greatest mage in all of Asperia Everything will be fine. That's what I like to hear. Magister Merlin, you seem to be in quite a bit of trouble. Shall we find someone to lend you a helping hand? Leave it to me. I know a few people. May flowers blossom across this land.
<laughs> Took you a while. I've been waiting out here in the cold all day. They say it's always autumn in Ryham, but right now, it's more like winter. It's said that Merlin's ward has long protected Ryham. It's the only reason that people can actually live here. But recently, Ryham's been getting colder. It's almost snowed the past few days. We've come with the Magistar to investigate this changing weather. My apologies, Miss Hamster. I never got your name. Yes, we should be introduced. You are Valen. I am Hammy. Are all your familiars hamsters? That's unique indeed. Chippy told me that General Hogan ordered you to protect the Magister. You must know that serving the Magister is an honor, but it's not easy. I'll be observing you. I hope you'll become a competent retainer. Apologies again, but I have to correct you. I'm a knight, not someone's retainer. Protecting him is just my current task. It's not a lifelong post. Unless your Magister is someone like the Great Merlin, then I may consider it. Did I hear that right? Well, the Magister, he is Mer- Ouch! Why didn't you just step on my foot, Hammy? Oh, sorry. Chippy likes to spout nonsense. Don't mind him, Mr. Valen. Once you spend some time together, you'll realize that although the Magister isn't Merlin, he is just as powerful. You'll see that he is practically the same as Merlin, except for the different appearance and name. Okay, I'll just wait and see. We should get going. I really want to get to Hollistone as soon as possible. I need a hot drink to help me warm up. Dura above. I really hope the General doesn't give me another assignment. The most beautiful flowers can- Anyone need Hammy to do some magic? Bestow its blessings upon all. The general has asked me. Time to show you my moves.
listening to the voice of the flowers. Just as I expected. Bestow its blessings upon all. <sighs> May the lucent tree bestow its a new bloom is emerging. The General has asked me to protect you. Not a little progress is better than no progress, right?
Time to show you my moves. Victory blooms most beautifully. May the loosen tree. If I could just put on the ring. Acorns and fire magic. That's what makes me super cute. The general has asked me to protect you. Not that little progress is better than no progress, right? Phew. Huh? Experience. Honed on the battlefield. Whew. The color and clarity are phenomenal. Even shinier. the flexibility, eh? The general has asked me to protect you. Not that you need it. Be grateful that you're allowed an audience. By my life and honor, I shall protect you.
come on. You'll need my spear. to the voice of the flowers. Victory blooms most beautifully.
The general has asked me to protect you. Not that you need it. A little progress is better than no progress, right? If I could just put on the ring. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. May the lucent tree bestow its blessings upon all. You desire an audience. And what do you offer? Great. You seem to have pulled yourself together. I was really worried when you passed out. So, how are you getting along with Valen? I hope he hasn't offended you already. <sighs> I guess it didn't go so well. Valen, I told you to heed his orders as if they were my own. That's not fair, General. These two little hamsters were watching my every move. I didn't slack off at all. Well, considering you helped us fight all the way here, I'll score your performance on the Magister's behalf. 80 out of 100! Keep up the good work, Mr. Valen! Yes, of course. Thanks for your encouragement, Hammy. Let me say this again, Valen. He was sent by me specifically to look into the changing weather. To ensure success, you must spare no effort in assisting him. Furthermore... You must ensure his safety. I totally understand, General. Ah, <sighs> Valen is my most trusted knight, both in strength and in character. His only shortcoming is probably his big mouth. Anyway, please teach this young man a thing or two during your time together. You can be as strict as you need to be. Stop teasing me, General. We should get down to business. The fire at Ryham was clearly arson. Yes, the young master of the Mithril Consortium identified the culprit as the Scarlet Sorceress. Rowan believes that she was the one who summoned those fire elementals. The Scarlet Sorceress, however, denies it all. I questioned the Scarlet Sorceress before you arrived. I asked her what her reasons were for coming to Ryham, but she didn't say a word. What about you? Do you think the Scarlet Sorceress is the culprit? Not that I doubt your judgment, but until the truth is uncovered, I can't let her go. There's another matter I'm concerned about. The Scarlet Sorceress said that you'd exonerate her. She seemed convinced that you would find the real culprit of the fire. You and her. I don't mean to pry, but is she an acquaintance of yours? True. 
You have lost your memory. Some things you might not be able to recall. Don't worry. We'll get to the bottom of all of this in our investigation. Oh, right. Uh, this is your first time in Hollistone, isn't it? Before troubling yourself with the investigation, you might as well take a tour around the village. I suspect you'll like it here. <laughs> Go, have a look around. Then come find me. I'll be waiting for you here. Just as I expected. Just as I expected. Voice of the flowers. Just as I expected. Just as I expected. to the voice of the flowers.
time to show you my moves. Just as I expected. Listen to the voice of the flowers. Just as I expected. Listening to the voice of the flowers. Just as I expected. Listening to the voice of the flowers. Just as I expected. May the Lucent Tree bestow its blessings upon all. A new bloom is emerging. Phew. Huh? Still got the flexibility, eh? Experience. Honed on the battlefield. May the Lucent Tree... You desire an audience. May... Phew. <sighs> Voice of the flowers. Victory blooms most beautifully. Voice of the flowers. Just as I expected.
Eleanor. Oh! <laughs> Hello! Thank you for considering my lady. However, she said that if she needed anything, she would instruct us on what to do, rather than trouble you. Well, she does not need to be so polite. The lady has come a long way, and it is my duty to be hospitable to guests. Should she have time today, might I be fortunate enough to meet her? I have prepared a rare gift for her. Lord Francer, I'm afraid my lady is terribly busy today and really cannot see you. Please, return another day.
Lord Franz does not seem to be in a great mood today, I see. I heard General Hogan mention that a noblewoman lives in this house, and that she has come from the capital. And where did this bottom feeder come from? Talking about me behind my back. Be gone! <clears throat> and nice to meet you, Lord Franz. You're different from what I imagined. I heard you were so rich and swanky that even the fountain on your estate was made of gold. I imagined you'd look like a fine gold bar. Impertinent scoundrel! No wonder your mouth emits such dross when base wretches like you grow up eating only filth. <laughs> fine, fine. I might well be a base wretch, but that can't be said of him. What do you think, Magister? Oh no. You look like you're barely half-trained. Don't call yourself a Magister when you only know a few spells. <laughs> I wager you never attended the Serene Lyceum. Am I right? Hmm. The Magister didn't really study that much there. See? I thought as much. Peasants like you don't belong in a place like that. You've misunderstood, Lord Cocky Highbutt. The Magister didn't study at the Lyceum because he was teaching there. Yes! You journaled about that part of your life, and you allowed me to read those entries. What a bunch of tedious liars! Enough! I have an important client to meet and can spare no time to argue with the likes of you. Furthermore, I hate rodents, particularly when they scurry around my property. You'd best not let me catch you around Ryham. That region falls under my jurisdiction. He certainly wasn't humble. He's essentially saying that Ryham belongs to him. However, it doesn't look like he was exaggerating. Lord Franz does control most of Ryham, especially the southern part. You look a bit lost. Allow me to explain. Ryham is built along the Tranquil River, which divides the region in half, north and south. Two years ago, Southville heated Lord Franz and dug up its wheat fields to plant grapes instead. They made a lot of money, and nowadays many villagers regard him as the symbol and source of their wealth. They say it's a new grape variety, gem vine. In all of Asperia, it only grows in Ryham, and is so rare that it can't be bought anywhere else on the market. To expand production, Lord Franz has lobbied the Northville villagers to swap from growing wheat to gem vine grapes. Is this a mage's intuition then? Southville is not that far, so we could go have a look around. But we should probably talk with General Hogan before we go. He's waiting for us near the plaza. I'm so glad you're safe. I heard about the fire last night. I was so worried. Eddie, I saw everything. When the fire broke out, there was a mage in the village. She was standing in my wheat field. She waved her hand and just vanished, after which the field just burst into flames. What? Are you saying you saw the culprit? Mary, take a deep breath and see if you can remember what she looked like. She had red hair down to her mid-back. She was also wearing a hat with a long feather in it and a black dress with gold stripes. We need to tell this to the heroic order. Magister, listening to that description, it seems like the culprit has to be Muriel. She has red hair and wears a hat and a dress. Do you remember what the Scarlet Sorceress looks like? I think she was different from the woman's description. That's 
right. Muriel has even longer hair. It's like a red carpet. This is an important piece of information. Before the fire, mages other than Muriel may have been in the village. We need to tell this to General Hogan immediately. I heard the wheat field in Northville will soon be acquired by Lord France. It won't be long before Northville is growing those expensive grapes, just like Southville. What? Wasn't the village chief of Ryan opposed to growing grapes? Did he back down in the end? He had no choice. You've seen how rich the people in Southville have gotten these past couple years. It's all because of the grapes. Everyone in Northville was green with envy. Who doesn't want to be rich? The old chief couldn't hold back the sea of change. Dura above. If there are grapes to the south and grapes to the north, Ryham should just change his name to Grapeville. Serious? Uh, what happened? Well, Ryham should never have been divided. Now the citizens on both sides of the river are constantly bickering. I have to point out that this situation started after Lord Franz arrived in Ryham. In short, the intel suggests that the culprit is probably someone other than the Scarlet Sorceress. But she's still a suspect. And who knows if the other red-headed mage is her accomplice. We'll have to keep investigating. Huh. We haven't even solved the issue of the changing weather. But here comes more problems. This case is related to magic, which Valen does not excel at. I'm going to ask you for your help. Are you willing to aid us? I'll let her know that you said that. Thanks for your help. Have you figured out what your next move is? We ought to look around Southville. Before identifying the culprit, we should learn more about the grape variety known as Gemvine. We bumped into Lord Franz just now, and he wasn't particularly friendly. What if, hypothetically, my sword falls out of its scabbard, completely by accident, mind you, and skewers his foot? You'd protect me, right? Please keep an eye on him. I'm afraid he's going to get into trouble. Then it's all up to you. May Jura above watch over you. Just as I expected. Listen to the voice of the flowers. Just as I expected. Thank you. 
What a coincidence, Master Rowan. Fancy meeting you here. I saw you in Northville. The guy from the Heroic Order and the Mage. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Rowan of the Mithril Consortium. We didn't get a chance for introductions earlier. Thanks for helping with the Wind Elemental. Otherwise, it wouldn't just be my goods that were lost, but my life. Northville's rich in wheat. That's where Ryham got its name. I went out of my way to Northville to buy three carts of the best wheat, but it all got burned by the Scarlet Sorceress. My whole business venture has been upended. And now this bridge is causing me trouble. I'm trying to figure out what to do next. I heard that Southville's Gemvine grapes are worth their weight in gold, so I wanted to check them out. But the bridge is up, and no one can get across. It looks like someone deliberately sabotaged the mechanism. The lever's broken. Could be bandits who did this, or could be someone else. Anyway, how much do you know about machinery? Seems like the all-knowing Magister has finally met his match. I know a little. The Mithril Consortium handles loads of machinery orders, but we don't currently have any spare parts. To replace a broken lever, we need a wooden stick of a specific hardness and durability. We'll also need a lubricant. Oh, in an emergency, I know that the juice of glowfly fruit can be used as a lubricant. Alright! Grucklin's often hoard glowfly fruit near the camp. Glowfly fruit has that sweet and sour flavor. So good when you can find it. Grucklin's! Yes! The long sticks they carry could be used as a lever. We'd be killing two birds with one stone. There's nothing to negotiate. I need to cross the bridge, too. And there's no way I can deal with those Grugglins by myself. So let's work together to collect the materials, then I'll repair the mechanism and everyone's happy. What do you think? There's no time to waste! Quick! Let's go find a Grugglins club and some ripe glowfly fruit! Just as I expected. No wonder you're General Hogan's friend. You both can hold it down in a fight. If you weren't in the fight, both the villagers here and my salary would have suffered. Who knows? Maybe I would have run away. Or perhaps... I would have shielded you until I fell. <laughs> I'm just joking. Let's go. We have things to do. Time to show you my moves.
just as I expected. Listening to the voice of the flowers. to the voice of the flowers. Experience is the best teacher. Listen to the voice of the flowers. Just as I expected. There are Gruglin camps everywhere. Seems like the harvest may not be safe, even without the Scarlet Sorceress. Oh, you're not from around here, so perhaps you haven't heard the local legend. It's said that the great Magister Merlin blessed this place. 
or protected it or something. I don't really understand magic. So you're here buying goods because of a legend? Relying on these legends or stories is actually an effective marketing strategy. But that's not why I was there. I just wanted to get some information on regions near Hollowstone and see if I could open up a new trade route. The soil in Ryham is particularly fertile. Its crops, flour, and bread are well known throughout the Lightbearer Empire. But later, I found out that the change in weather had reduced Northville's wheat yields. Difficult transportation in the region meant that Ryham wheat has become a luxury that only nobles can afford. So I wondered if I could expand the market and increase sales. However, that's right! That blasted Scarlet Sorceress! Calm yourself, Master Rowan. It's better than losing your life to bandits. That makes sense, I guess. No need to look so glum. What are a few shipments of wheat compared to the massive fortune you have? I still remember when the heroic order came to clean things up, and you had the consortium send over wagons of swords as a thank you gift. That was completely different, Mr. Valen. The gift to the Heroic Order was to express my gratitude and cement our relationship. However small or great the value, it was totally reasonable. That's right. Kindness, friendship, and favors are all well and good, but business is another matter entirely. Even the smallest loss must be precisely recorded and analyzed. Speaking of which, the acquisition process in Northville was more unpleasant than expected. Most were friendly, though a few of them needed an attitude adjustment. There are no laws against price gouging, but it was less about selling goods and more like driving customers away. It was the same when the first fire broke out. A few of them just stood by the side of the road, and they didn't even try to help like it wasn't even their village. Strange indeed. The people of Northville are very united and care greatly for their fields and homes. They wouldn't be indifferent to anything that happens in the village. Never mind. Our priority is to gather materials right now. Everything else can wait until we're across the bridge. of the flowers. Fireball! Just as I expected.
clarity are fun even shinier. I can just put on the ring. Acorns and fire magic. That's what makes me super cute. Phew. May the lucent tree. The general has asked me to protect you. Not that you need it. May the lucent tree bestow its blessings upon all. I'm to show you my moves. Just as I expected. You're not even worth getting up for. It's time to show you my moves. Experience is the best teacher.
<sighs> Time for work again. A bit of experience, a bit of luck. Come out, my servant, and fight for me! Just as I expected. Do some magic? All set. I'm ready. You're not even worth getting up for. No escaping for you. Come out, my servant, and fight for me. Experience is the best teacher. Voice of the flowers. Just as I expected. My moves. Well, victory is deserved.
Of the flowers. It's time to show you my moves. Just as I expected. I expect it. The general has asked me to protect you. Not that you need it. A little progress is better than no progress, right? May the lucent tree bestow its blessings upon all. A new bloom is emerging. Phew. Huh? Still got the flexibility, eh? Voice of the flowers. Well, victory is deserved. Phew. Huh? Still got the flexibility, eh?
time to show you my moves. Victory blooms most beautifully. We can get across to Southville. Why do you look unhappy, Rowan? Well, it's because of the bridge. It was all too easy to stop traffic between the two places. All you have to do is break the lever. I was able to repair it this time, but it'll be a problem for caravans in the future. Yes. A bridge that can be rendered uncrossable so easily, as well as an unsafe business environment. I need to reevaluate my business venture. 